Oh man, that's got to be the spirit. That's got to be the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Let me start by saying all praises and glory is due to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, for giving us this knowledge, this truth. Hopefully, this video is edifying. <clears throat> and um, pretty much the title, I'm not sure what title I'm going to put on this video, but uh, it has to do with the elect. Now, um, this idea just hit me. Uh, primarily in the scripture, the book of Isaiah, the 11th chapter, where it speaks about shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And that's reserved for the elect. So the point is, it's not going to take members of the hopeful elect long to get the understanding of these scriptures. Not at all. Because they're members of the elect. So if you should find yourself wrestling back and forth with some individual and he just can't get it, no matter what precept you throw his way, then there's a good chance he's not part of the hopeful elect. And you should move on. Now, the reason why I say, oh man, that's got to be the spirit, because I didn't even know that Elder Pastor put up this video here. I just seen it. As a matter of fact, it's going, it's going uh, live right now. You know, premiering right now. Leave the bug outs alone and just focus on the elect. And that's primarily the message of this video. I didn't know he put that video up because what inspired me to do this video was a video early, earlier I saw that he did For the Lord is not the author of confusion. And he spotlighted uh, Captain Tazariak and, and uh, mainly Captain Tazariak. He was going back and forth with this guy on the phone and the guy just could not get it. He could not get the understanding of of what Captain Tazariak was throwing at him. And Captain Tazariak made some good points. Even Apostle Tar said that. But this guy kept going back and forth, back and forth, wrestling back and forth. Hey, let me save you brothers some time out there. Like I said, and I'll say it again, if you come up upon a person and you're trying to teach them the scriptures and they just can't get it, no matter what precept you throw, because even... It is written, right? Um, I think it was King David that said it. Either King David or Job. Uh, I believe it was King David. He said, through thy precepts, I get understanding. So here it is. You're teaching this individual, right? You, 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 you are rightly dividing the word of truth. You, you're throwing in all these precepts as the Holy Spirit will feed you. But no matter what you say to this person, he just can't get it. He just cannot understand, right? Well, there's a big chance that he's not part of the elect. He's not part of the hopeful elect. That's why he can't understand it. Now, let me show you why I say that. See, at this point, are you trying to satisfy your vanity? Or are you trying to satisfy looking for the hopeful elect? You should be trying to satisfy the spirit of looking for, or looking for the hopeful elect. That's the spirit you should be in. And not the spirit of trying to satisfy your, your vanity. Oh yeah, I, I made that guy uh, submit to me through the scriptures. No, it's not about that. It's about looking for the hopeful elect. Okay, that's what it's about. So in case you might have forgotten what it's about. See, if you have that kind of mentality, you're looking for the hopeful elect, you'll know what signs to look for. Now if you're dealing with a guy who just can't get it, no matter what you throw at him, no matter what precept you throw at him, then that's a sign. Israel's always looking for a sign, right? That's a sign that he's not a member of the hopeful elect. It's also a sign for you to move on. Okay? It's a sign for you to move on. You ain't got time to be messing around with an individual that just can't get it. You're wasting your time. Now, here, this is the scripture that uh, fired me up to do this video. And again, I hope it's edifying to you brothers out there. You teach, especially you teachers, always keep this in mind. You wrestling back and forth with an, in, with an individual, that means that's a sign he's not part of the hopeful elect. It's not for him. Isaiah, the 11th chapter, and uh, I'll start at the second verse. Now, this is for, of course, this starts with Yahweh Shai, but it filters on down to the hopeful elect. The hopeful elect belong to Yahweh Shai. 
That's why when Yahweh Shai comes back, who's he going to gather, huh? Matthew 24 and 30, he's going to gather his hopeful elect. You can go read it, Matthew 24 and 30, right? So in Isaiah 11, 2 to 3, it says, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. So you're teaching this guy, he's, he's a member of the hopeful elect. Guess what? As you're teaching him, the Spirit of the Lord is going to rest upon him. Case in point, when uh, Philip, right? When Philip was teaching the Israelite from Ethiopia, known as the Ethiopian eunuch, as Philip was teaching him, the Spirit of the Lord rested upon that brother, okay, the, the so-called Ethiopian eunuch, which was an Israelite from Ethiopia. As Philip, Philip being one of the apostles, right, the main, one of the uh, original apostles that Yahweh Shai uh, handpicked, as Philip was teaching this guy, the Holy Spirit fell upon that Israelite from Ethiopia. And he was understanding as Philip was teaching him. Even so much so, go back and read the account. He asked Philip if he could be baptized. They were walking, right? And they came upon a body of water. And he asked Philip, you can go read the account. He asked Philip if he could be baptized. Back then they were doing water baptism, right? So that, that's an example to you. Remember Romans 15 and 4, whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for our learning. So that's an example to you that as you're teaching some guy, Right? If he's a member of the hopeful elect, the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him and he'll, he'll uh, understand what you're saying. And by his answers, or by his questions and answers, you'll know the Holy Spirit is working with this individual. Now, in contrast, you're teaching a guy and he just can't get it. The Holy Spirit is resisting him. He just can't get it. That's your sign to, 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 to move on. That guy is not a member of the hopeful elect. That's why he can't get it. So stop trying to satisfy your own vanity. And what you should be looking for are members of the hopeful elect. That's what you should be looking for. Not to satisfy your own vanity. Okay? So again, Isaiah 11 and 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom. Wisdom of what? Of this knowledge, this truth. The understanding of these scriptures. And the understanding, oh, check it out. It says, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, understanding the precepts, understanding the scriptures, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. He's getting all that. The member of the hopeful elect, as you're teaching him, he's getting all that. He's getting, he's getting the uh, spirit of wisdom. He's getting the understanding. He's getting the counsel, might, the spirit of knowledge, and of the fear. He's even getting the fear of the Lord as you're teaching the guy. So that's a good sign he might be a member of the hopeful elect. Okay? And the reason why I say might is because he has to make it all the way to the end. What does the scripture say? He that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right? So, hey, I've been in this thing for more than 30 years. I still see myself as a member of the hopeful elect. I hope that I'm going to be delivered. I hope that I'm one of those men. <laughs> Inside joke. I hope that I'm one of those men. Brothers who know, they know. Um, I hope I'm delivered. Okay? So that's why we call ourselves members of the hopeful elect. It's a thing of uh, humility. Remember, always be humble. Always be humble. Always be humble. We're to have a humble mindset before you, how about Shimiao Shai, right? Now let's go to the next verse. It says, Isaiah 11 and 3, and shall make him of quick understanding, that's the key, quick understanding, shall make him, notice it says him, because really this knowledge is truth, is for men. The flock of the Lord's pasture is men, right? And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. So it ain't going to take long for a guy who's a member of the hopeful elect to get the understanding of this truth, even as you're teaching him. So if you happen to be teaching an individual and he's just wrestling back and forth with you, it's like you had a goddamn wrestling match, a goddamn boxing match. Guess what? That's a sign to you that that guy is not a member of the elect. So keep. So as a, a apostle, elder apostle, Ram, um, elder apostle Ricard used to have that channel GMS push on, push on. It's time for you to push on. Move on to the next one. 
It's just like when you step to a chick, right? And the chick is playing high post. No matter what line you throw at her, no matter what rap you throw at her, she's, she's just not biting. She's playing high post. And you can see genuinely she's not, she doesn't care for you. She's not feeling you. Well, guess what? It's time for you to what? Move on. It's time for you to move on to the next chick, right? Well, it's the same thing with this knowledge, man. Okay? You're teaching a, a, a dude and he just can't get it. Then that's your sign to push on. Move on. On to the next one. Just like when we do these videos and we say on to the next one. We ain't got time to be wasting with no individual that's not a member of the hopeful elect. Let me say it again. We don't have time to mess with any individuals that are not potential members of the hopeful elect. We're just wasting our time. And we don't have time to waste. Okay? Remember, there's going to be more people rejecting this knowledge and this truth than there are going to be individuals accepting it. Let me say that one more time. There are going to be more individuals rejecting this knowledge, this truth, than those that accept it. Remember, two-thirds is a, is a hell of a lot bigger number than one-third. So again, here's the key. All right? Isaiah 11 and 3 and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord so it ain't gonna take long for this individual to get it and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears meaning we're gonna judge and reprove according to these scriptures not according to our own thoughts even Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai made a statement he said nah the word that I speak the same shall judge you in the last day. He said, I, I didn't come to judge. All right, that's what Yahweh Shai said. He was given a commandment what to say. Again, Yahweh Shai said, I was given a commandment what to say by my father. Okay? The, the, the commandment that my father gave me, that's what's going to judge you. That's what Yahweh Shai said. So that's the understanding of he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But the, the, the point is, shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. So it's not going to take a potential member of the hopeful elect. It's not going to take him long as you're teaching him to understand this knowledge, this truth. You know, I dare say it's pretty easy to understand. All right. As a matter of fact, that takes me to uh, Titus, unto the pure. Because <clears throat> remember, the Lord got his potential hopeful elect out there. And our job is to find them. So we ain't got time to be wasting with no, with no individual that just can't get, us, get this no matter what you throw at him. We ain't got time for that. Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, like that guy you're wrestling with, you're trying to get him to understand this truth, mainly to satisfy your own vanity, when you should be thinking about, no, nah, I'm, I'm out here looking for the hopeful elect. See, this is what happens when you're trying to satisfy your own vanity. You're going, in a re you, you, you're going back and forth like you're in a wrestling match with a guy who just can't get it, no matter what you throw at him. <laughs> Come on, man. We, we got to get smart. Okay, we got to get smart. Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. And that's one of the reasons why the, why the individual can't get it. His mind and his conscience is defiled. Do you ever think about that? That's why he can't get it. He's not a member of the hopeful elect. All right. Uh, even John the Baptist said, bring fruits, meat for repentance. Not every Israelite is meat for repentance, man. Got news for you. That guy that you're trying to, you're wrestling back and forth with. That guy's not meat for repentance. That's why he can't get it. His mind and his conscience is defiled. Yahweh Shai don't want him. So it's time for you to move on. Move on to the next individual. De you know, you're wasting your time devoting all your energy to a person who's not worth it. Okay? That's the way you got to see it. This word is precious, man. So it's not for everybody. Again, Titus 1 and 15, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. They don't believe nothing. Okay, and it don't take long for you to understand this truth. 
but even their mind and conscience is defiled. There you go. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. There you go. So those individuals are reprobates, but they'll claim that they, they, know, and they know the Heavenly Father. That's what they'll tell you. Yeah, sure they do. But there you go. So hopefully you were edified by this video. I believe the point is made. Now, in the comment section, if you'd like, you can add scriptures in the comment section if you were edified by this video. And as usual, on to the next one.